Buddy, welcome back to Let's Play Griflands. Uh, let's not talk about what happened over there. Let's talk about how, hey, look at that. We're on Prestige 7 as Sal. Isn't that crazy? And we're going to do it as Infiltrator, you know? Look at a little cool little goggles on our forehead. Yeah, that's so sick. Anyway, we're going to win this first try. And it's going to be the easiest thing. It's going to be the simplest thing you've ever seen. We are going to... I think the extra battle graph slot will do us well. Yeah, I picked that. Don't don't judge me, fish. Because this story takes place over five days. That's plenty of time for boss graphs to show up. Uh let's see. Pick a card to help on the quest. Restore health. Upgrade a card. Let's get let's do a little test of faith right away, because dealing with Hessians is the easiest thing in the world. 10 damage coming in. Defense is probably very important for Sal. And how did we win last time? We didn't really, we did a bleed deck and we didn't try to force improvise, which I feel like is an issue I definitely have with this character. And you know what? Let's do a little in vivo battle speed increases. I won't speed up the negotiation because I feel like sometimes I lose myself in the actions. Like I don't, I don't know what's going on. But combat's pretty straightforward. We'll, we'll speed through some of this. You're gonna do nine damage to me, and unfortunately, I only. Oh, there's a chance. Let's see. Two wound. No, that's only five damage. We have two energy left. Is there any chance that we do an extra four damage? If we draw a stab, if we draw a stab, we could end it. And then this stab gives us a four, give us a two. So let's just minimize the damage we're taking this turn. All right. And oh, give me a wound. Thank you. I just don't roll. Super small. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Discard attack, attack randomly. They have speed, apply, and pair. I want none of that. We can survive the first day or two with a very basic deck. So let's make sure we only add goodness to it. Now, let's go talk to your boy. What are we getting to start with? We want spending influence, duplicate target bounty. Nah. None of it. I want the stack of money. And why don't you lead the way? The boy applies the crowd of promises of an, of an accepting god. If I openly forbid it, the notion becomes only more tantalizing. You must undermine the sermon. Lead them to doubt. Easy. Watch me speak big words. Okay, no damage coming out turn one. We get just a little influence because it sticks around forever. And we don't have to worry about the damage that they do. Because we're going to destroy every single one of their negotiations. At least the ones that cause damage. So we destroy you. Fantastic. And then let's definitely no hope that that rolls higher but we're okay with it four damage here don't mind if i do perfectly delete that we could uh there's no point in giving ourselves dominance but just poke them and then delete it okay now we do have to be careful because they are going to start swinging at us directly. However, 3-6, we don't have lethal this turn. Let's keep you alive. We don't need to restore resolve because we're at full health. Swing twice, and if we draw two attack cards, we have you next turn. And we did draw two attack cards. Let's see if we can get a little extra experience snuck in there. And alright, very easy. When this card is drawn, deal one damage and gain influence. Gain a bunch of doubt. I'm losing my love of Seeds of Doubt as a card. I think 
it may not be as good as I think it is. One damage and game influence. Influence is a resource that we might be able to spend. And there's a bonus of 50. I don't think I've ever taken the card. So let's let's try to make it work. Now, if you're mad and want to fight me, I understand that's a very like that's a you problem, but we'll we'll try to try to handle it, I guess. You're doing too much damage on turn one, and I don't appreciate that at all. What is it you do? On death, you stink. So let's not worry about that at all. Thanks for the wound. Let's see. We're not getting hit this turn, so we just wail into you. I'm not playing Sal's daggers very often because uh, we don't know what direction we're going as far as this deck. Are we going bleed? Are we going the other one? Uh, uh, combo? Yeah, I don't know. I will bleed you because it goes through the armor. And you're done. Are there any cards that we can get to level up quickly? Little little experience there. Little experience there. And send them. Do I kill you? Not quite. This card two cards attack a random enemy. Exertion is fine, but we would want to get the draw a card as well. So let's hold on to that and try to upgrade it right away. Spend three combo, deal two bonus damage per combo spent. I feel like that's better than counter, but we don't generate combo yet. This is agnostically good. I would prefer it were destroyed, but for now I can settle with that. Uh, some loot or huff some vapors. Let's look for a loot. It could be anything. It could even be vapors. A tincture, a nice little grenade, or buster. Whenever you break defense of an attack, apply two bleed and gain four defense. I'm actually going to take it. Um, I'm gonna take the grenade. We will get set on by a single Vrock. A single Vrock doesn't scare me that much. You just kind of block through the first couple of turns. Ah, uh, none of this is going to do us any good. However, you'll dodge that, which means you get hit by the second one. And you're just dodging this turn, which means I can swing for the fences. And here I go again blocking. Yeah, go ahead and exert yourself. We want to gain the counter. You're going to hurt yourself on the rebound. And then, sneak a little, sneak a little bleed in there. Our next turn will be more difficult, because we have less energy, but that's actually okay. What are we improvising? Draw and discard, I guess is all kind of bad, but we'll just block through this one. It's a rough turn. And you don't evade anymore, which means we got you. And we do 8 damage. This will be 4. Saber grip will be 4. Block 1. It also does 1 damage next turn. And... It doesn't matter how we do this. Because we're fatigued. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Got some nice experience. This is the only card in your hand. Attack two times with four bonus damage. I don't see that happening, but I think Barnacle is a very good card, especially if you get some bleed related crafts with it. I love a card that does both offense and defense. It's just nice. Definitely want to destroy the basic cards. Yeah, so let's lead into a little bit of a Let's lean into the bleed. And our health is okay, our resolve is perfectly fine as well. Do we want the hip flask? No, we don't care for it. Do we want to battle and remove a card? You could convince me to do that, or do we want a graft? It's day one, our health is doing fine. 
Let's see if we can't negotiate our way out of this situation. And get a nice little graph to start with. Now, overexertion would be good if we had any discard, and this is a form of discard. However... <clears throat> However, I'm thinking we may be better off with the Reckless Swing. I do appreciate this card for getting rid of some of the garbage that the enemy puts into our deck. This is me growing as a deck builder, right? This card has purpose. Uh, Pow's, Pow's cool with me? Because I don't really want to negotiate. I was a good friend of mine. I see. And then he just leaves. Right on. Right on. Now, what up, Prent? You should work with me. It would be good for you. Ow, you may ask. Fantastic question. Um, if this fight that's coming up goes poorly, they may give you a haircut. So that's that's in your favor. Which what's going on here? Well, I'm getting hit in the face, which I don't appreciate, but you're also destroying this. I can't stop this, but I can stop you from hitting me in the face. So we already have influence, gain a little dominance. Makes this card better. Love it. And then we'll just take the damage so we can hurt you some more. Okay, more damage coming in. Easy, easy block. And for the fences and hope you can race them a little bit better. More coming in. Thanks for the influence, I guess. We want as much damage as possible. Yeah. Go ahead and gain dominance again. Make threaten better. And I'm not afraid to race you a little bit. Seven damage over here. And you're busting up the evidence. However, there's always a chance that you don't. You roll extremely low. That's stupid. Don't bet on that. Break that, so this will survive. I'm gonna take five. This would make me take one, which means I'm still losing this fight. Like, nothing good came of this turn. However, yeah, that's that's much better. I just take eight to my face instead. That's that's what I wanted. That's that's how you come out ahead here. All right. Depending on target selection, there's a chance. So there's three. And a little dominance. And then just don't roll your smallest amount. Wasn't scared for a second. Then one influence to deal bonus damage. Uh, I think you take... You want bonus damage for every hostility card. <sighs> then one influence to deal three additional. So with one of each in the deck, there's a good chance that we'll have influence to spend every time this comes around, which makes this a 5 to 6 damage card, which is actually just solid damage. We'll take it, we'll enjoy the bonus sh shills that we get along the way, and we'll, you know, we'll test out a new card. Let's go drink real quickly, just in case we can talk our way out of this situation. And then see what's up with the uh, Sandrano. Uh, why do you want you terminated? Just kidding. I, I don't actually care. Scare away his followers? Yeah, definitely. Uh, there's far too many of you. We are taking a healthy amount right off the bat. And we have no influence to spend. When destroyed, receive money. Absolutely. Give me 
the money. I'm not afraid of you. Give me, give me the money. Give me the info. Okay, thank you. And then, pop this one. Health is much better. I am more scared of this person. And we also want to make sure that we kind of destroy them in order. Or all at once and then pop you. We're taking four. Doesn't bother me at all, actually. Let's spread out the damage a little bit. Alright, now we gotta go for face because I've made you stronger. Go for face, do a little damage there. It hits twice. That might mean something, but I'm too dumb to... I can't see that far ahead. We want to definitely do more damage to your face. There is a chance that you die by accident, but it also gives me this cool get out of jail free opportunity. Okay, we're gonna take a lot. However, no, we won't. This card destroys my argument, gain whatever, apply to composure. No, thank you. I want none of this. Destroy, absolutely. Spend one influence, this costs nothing. Absolutely. Spend one influence or gain one influence. Go ahead and give me a little gain. Just become better. Destroy. All right. And then fight this dummy and realize he doesn't have any friends left. Let's go. I want to play my whole hand. No, if I gain two actions, I'll have five, and that's too much. So let's go off on you to start with. Get you out of here. We'll play exertion sometime in the future. Thank you for the block. I appreciate it. We're taking 11 right now. I don't appreciate that. However, with two blocks and just a little a light stabbing will do well. Saving this grenade for later because you don't really scare me. What are we improvising? We are improvising a little combo, I guess. And this counter will actually do well since we're hitting since we're getting hit twice. Alright. Five coming in from the Vrock. Can't do much about it. We can gain four block. Not exciting. Or is it? You have fourteen health remaining. Now you have 8 health remaining. You have 2 health re remaining because of the counter. Let's get this card upgraded. Apply the wound. You're done. After you hit me, but you know, you're done. And thank you for the block. Go. Oh. And you've panicked. I'm a big brain guy. Something about combo. Try this card to gain 2 defense and 2 counter. Give me bleed. It's important. We can make Barnacle work better. Uh, we definitely want the Faint. Definitely want the Faint. Give the upgraded cards. We can get some powers that cause zero. And then I go up to Rudana and I'm like, I did. I did your deed. Uh, hold on. I, I, I need to drink. I'll be right back. I need... I didn't realize I was actually supposed to kill him. Like that was important or something. So I'm gonna... gonna go over here to the bar real quick. Now I'm gonna convince you that Rudana is dead. Now you see here, Rudana is dead 
because I incepted these two vulnerabilities on you. And look at how solid my argument is. And then, oh, that's a lot of alcohol in my system. Hold on. Let's go ahead. Hurt you some more. Please do not put a ton of garbage into my deck. And let me survive until this flourish comes around. And we'll all be happy. Do not steal my money. The money is very precious to me, it's all I have. Should have put a little block on my face. Please stop with the baffled. It's it's actually terrible. Let's go. Dismiss all enemy intents or let me let me think. Discard your hand and then draw until there's only that type of card. Gained five dominance. I don't have any good hostility cards, okay. Uh we have Discard my hand. Give me diplomacy cards. Because at least one of them is free. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have this huge stack of influence. Spend one. Hurt you. And you know what? I don't feel so bad anymore. Because you're done. Like you're you're gonna you're gonna hurt me a little bit. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie about that. But you're done. You we're done. Get out of here. Gain two influence, lose two. At the beginning of your turn, gain dominance, or just draw three cards. No, thank you. However, give me the influence boosting ability. And I convince you I did the job you hired me for. Gain defense with a half your combo, apply one wound at the beginning of your turn. Or all cards gain one minimum damage. Let's get the scimitar. A nice boost early on. Now that I've thought about it for a second, it's not that great if I have influence all the time. I'm stupid, but you already knew that. Your friend Pao is in trouble. You have a chance to save her before it's too late. How are, how are you helping me? Does Pao actually like us? No. Heal three help whenever you win a negotiation. Interesting. I'll consider it. Or you can meditate here. Nah, I guess I'll go save your life. Now, Pow, I want you to remember this forever, alright? Remember the time I fought a civilian to save your life. Go ahead, heal me up. And then, just wound the baton for the future and realize you should have played that card first. Taking 11, I don't appreciate that. But now that doesn't matter. Bleed him. That's alright. We want to... Wow, you're just like a jerk, aren't you? Enjoy your 5 bleed and then me blocking almost all your damage. And then go ahead and enjoy me playing all of these cards. The counter won't quite get us there, but you will bleed out actually, so I'm smart and you're dumb. Your item sucks. Enjoy your life. I really want the slip to work. I try for it all the time, I never get it, but you know, if I keep trying, eventually, eventually I'll get it. Uh, so I wouldn't three health or something when I win a negotiation. That's cool. I just really like your big blue earrings, so I saved your life. All right, don't don't be worried about it. Who do we get to pick between? It's the easiest decision in the world. You save the swab, and you tell Endo to and suck it. What up, Plaka? What up, Rift friend? And then we come back later tonight, and if we still have money, we say, Trina, do you want to be my best friend? 
I will take the graph from Herbla. They're not gonna like it at all. Yeah, they're gonna actually hate us and put a pretty annoying uh, bane on us. However, free buckshot. So who's laughing now? Who is laughing now? What else you got? Regig? No. Unstable mutation? Augmentation? Whenever you spend all of your combo, gain 5 defense. Joke's on you. I got no combo going on in this deck. Piece of maximum damage. Wall cards by one. Now that's... That's a graft. Scimitar, you stink. Look at this thing. Anyway, that's probably too expensive. I didn't really look at the price, but it doesn't change that much. What you got for sale? Whenever you play a card, gain one defense? That sounds cool. Battle Scars is freaking sick. It is a very good, it is a very good card. If you draw and your hand is garbage, right on. You can just basically skip the turn. The counter is always nice. You get some cards that benefit from being discarded even better. We want to remove some battle cards. Not quite. Our deck could be made better by being thinner, but I'm not really stressed about it yet. We want to remove any negotiation cards. I don't want to pay your extortion prices, so let's just make Trina like us. Or Alicia, whoever you are today. What's up, Cassio? Um, do me a favor and help me in this fight. Destroy this argument right away. That thing is annoying as heck. And do a little damage. I'm gonna be hurt, and there's nothing I can do about it. However, double up on blocks. You can't hurt me. And I can hurt you. But I don't have influence. I'm stupid. Alright. Again, I know you're going for me. I don't know for how much, but I know you're going for me. Let's go ahead. Gain some influence so we can beat you up in the future. Love that. Now I don't know where you're going. I don't have enough block to block everything if you go for your influence. So I'm going to play quick thinking first, like a smart guy. Go for face, block here, go for face again. If I'm wrong, so be it. Still gotcha. Still gotcha. And we still have influence. And I believe that's lethal. Actually, it's lethal so easily, I can actually gain experience on one more card. Would you look at that? It only took him forever, but I learned how to play. Draw one card, choose a card from your hand to place on top of your draw pile. There, there's something there. I'm not, I'm not smart enough to know exactly what, but there's something there. And then, I, I just need consistent... Uh, <clears throat> I am a fan of generating a lot of a single resource. And then we'll find some way to spend it. Now, Sparky can be a real jerk. Thankfully, you're here to help me and we have a flourish coming up. 11 damage is disgusting. And I hate you for what you're doing. An impair helps a lot. An impair helps us both a lot. Okay, it just helps me a lot because you refused to defend yourself. Let's go ahead. You're doing eight to me. Get this out of here. This is not the turn for battle scars. I think this is the turn for attacking. 
aggressively. Especially since you have a wound on you. 12 damage coming in. Wow, you just keep hitting, huh? Play both of those. Deal with as much as you can. Thin your deck. The flourish is nice, but not quite necessary yet. I wish I got a more offensive turn, but you know, beggars can't be choosers or whatever. Doesn't even apply here. Very, very dumb. Now you're the one who's countering. Let's go ahead and bleed you. That shouldn't count as an attack. Thank you. You don't need to gain defense, just go ahead and sleep it off. Dummy, don't do that. And there's a big hit coming. I think we should improvise and hope for an impair. Did not get it, however, drawing three cards makes battle scars that much better. And then... If anything, we would squash him to stun him, but Funk Cost Fallacy tells me I have to just ride this out. Now. One, two, three, four. Go ahead. Why, where were you last turn? You jerk. Don't want to impair you. It scares me. This is three bleed and three defense, which isn't great, but you know, it's better than doing one damage, uh, no damage. Again, another turn where you're off, which means this is technically four damage. No, it's three. Which makes it the same as a counter strike. So it's three plus damage over time. One, two, three, four, three, one. You've already surrendered. You've already surrendered, which I win, you stink. Going out from bleed, so make sure you're careful. Is there any way you can mess this up? No. And I don't want your oppressor cell. Do I accept your surrender? Maybe one day you'll be my friend? Draw cards until you draw a maneuver and heal one for each. Improvise a card from your draw pile and duplicate it. Defensive search. Let me read slip. Where are you? Where do the slip be? If this card was improvised this turn, also gain evasion. Improvised full stop. Give me muscle memory. Because it's a start at least. Duplicity is always good. It just is. Don't don't think about it too much. Spend our influence and dominance more. A random card costs less, all hostility cards deal less damage. So I'm thinking between Interior Drill and Scholar's Clip. Because we're generating a lot of influence, we have influence to spend on the graft. However, I think that's also kind of dumb because we want influence. At least we want to want influence. With the Interior Drill, the safest option. And then Trina, what up best friend? You want to share a drink? You want to give me the doze bug? Thank you. I appreciate your friendship. And the 20 extra health you're going to give me over the next four days. All right. Yeah, no money left for cards or grass. We could remove something from the deck. But I don't think I will. Promoted Fight Dirty isn't the best card, but right now it's doing just fine because it can give us draw, which is great for battle cards. It can give us what impair, which is good for turns where we suck, which is a lot of the time. And wound is also very nice. So we don't want it long term, but for now it's fine. So I will rest in the back. Call it a day. Reflect on life. Oh, look at me. Here I am reflecting. Wow. Life sure be crazy. I sure did drink a lot. And we got the Grace of Hesh, which is pretty cool. You know, a little extra heal, a little extra health every day. It doesn't hurt either. And some pretty okay graphs. 
I was playing Kicks from Max Health by yeah, 5. So Alright. So, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to hit that like button. We're gonna win Prestige 7 as Sal. Casio doesn't scare me much. We'll be cool. It, it's, it'll, it'll be easy. Easiest fight of my life. Alright. See you next time. Bye-bye.